what's up YouTube? How you guys doing today? Coming to you from, from Lake Wohink here. One of my favorite places to go. I mean, check out uh, how nice of a day it is here today at, uh, at the boat launch. You can see the leaves are starting to turn colors. It feels like we're getting a real part of the Indian summer that uh, Northern California gets. Anyways, I thought I would just uh, come back at you guys with another vlog. I'd like to continue to do more of these. So I think I'll just uh, talk a little bit here and show you some sights of the, of the trail. We've got Cleewax Lake, day use areas. This is a neat little trail uh, that does kind of a, a, a large loop around uh, this area over to the picnic picnic uh, area and then it goes around uh, is another part of the trail that we're going to go on uh, what are we uh, what are we wearing today for this little adventure <laughs> uh, you know not much I've just got a uh, little Columbia Columbia hiking shirt on I've got uh, some hiking pants on and I got my Keens yes I've got Keen sandals yep rocking the Keen sandals Hey, Keen, if you're watching, if you want me to do a promotional video for you guys, I'll do it. <laughs> I tell you what, I wear I wear these sandals all the time. Uh, I've got socks on them. I wear, I wear them with socks on them, without socks. They're awesome. It's a nice trail here. So I guess I'd like to just start off by, you know, I didn't really want to, I didn't really want to go in and uh, and say any, I didn't want to say any, anything about this, but I am going to say, I am going to say a few things, a few things about it, and that is, uh, I am uh, still mourning over the uh, the shooting that happened in in Las Vegas, and uh, I am uh, pretty pretty upset with the whole thing as I am sure all of you guys are um, so I've been uh, I've been I don't, that has been really key uh, that has been keeping my mind uh, actively here this just this last week and uh, you know God bless all of those who who died and who uh, are wounded uh, in that horrific horrific event that uh, despicable despicable event that, that happened and you know they're they're still they're still uh, you know trying to figure out motives and everything that happened and uh, uh, but I just want to let you guys know that yeah it's uh, everybody you know anybody that's watch watches my channel that that uh, lost somebody in that massacre you know my heart and my prayers go out to you and um, I just I don't know it's just it's 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 beyond it's beyond belief it's really beyond belief what's happened what's continuing to happen and I don't know I just I don't really want to get uh, I don't want to get political but you know I just I'm all about freedom on on my channel and yeah, that's 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 why that's why why I do what I do, and that gives me all the pleasure in the world is having freedom above anything and everything. And any people or persons that are out there that are uh, that are actively trying to demonize that, um, you know, I just have a real problem. I've got a real problem with. <laughs> so. Anyways, guys, you know, I don't want to end this negatively, but I'm just going to kind of leave it. I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to leave it with that. So anyways, back to back to uh, trekking around, hiking, a daily hike in the daily hike in the woods. We'll 
go this way. So this is one of the little picnic shelter areas over here. This is considered Honeyman State Park and a lot of the, they have like large group gatherings. Uh, a lot of them they do cookouts over here. It's a huge table. Beautiful day, huh? See the kayaker out there? Yeah, it's amazing. We're just having amazing weather right now. This is the kind of weather when I was in Northern California last year with it that, uh, that they were having. Just absolutely amazing. So hopefully when I go south next month, uh, we'll have the same, uh, same similar, similar weather. That sure would be, would be awesome. So gotta have, uh, gotta have that liquid sunshine. <laughs> That's to keep the smile on my face, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, so let's see, what uh, what did I want to talk about today's vlog? Today's vlog. Um, I guess I'll just uh, talk about, I think the last last uh, month's vlog. Uh, I had, had a couple of couple of uh, good comments in there about uh, just about you know about some some things pertaining to what I a couple things I touched base on. Uh, uh, Lyra, Lyra Scotch, YouTube channel Lyra Scotch. What's up, Lyra? Great channel, like it, love it. Great, great, great channel. Uh, she just pointed out in one of the comments that, and well, back back to Lyra. Lyra has a channel. She does a lot of uh, human psychology videos. Great stuff. A lot of reviews. Uh, great, great content. Content very authentic. So she just commented that work doesn't have to be a negative word. I was talking about, you know, oh, it's it's the work, it's it's the W word again, right? It comes back to work. Ira, yes, you're absolutely correct. Work does not have to be this negative word that most people associate to. They associate a lot of pain to the to the work to the W word. And this is the other part of the campground. It's not it's not really a campground. It's a it's a group camping campground. Here it is, Wohank Lakeside Trail, 1.7 miles. I am filming this with my new camera. It's a GoPro Hero 5. It has image stabilization. I'm uh, beginning to get used to it and I really like it. It definitely is nice and I think it has good audio too. There's where I came from over there. So yeah, talking about, uh, back to talking about what I was talking about before, the W word, work. I had to gather my thoughts for a few minutes about what I wanted to say. Because I've been thinking about this for a while and I was going to make a video talking about goals, which I probably will, but while we're on this topic, I wanna I'm gonna come out and I'm just gonna say what I what I think about what I think about work because this is something that I have had I have been going through here while on my journey the last couple of years, trying to understand and figure out, you know, where where do I where where does this word work have uh, have its place in my life and what is my relationship to it? Okay, uh, you know, what are my feelings toward it? Is it is it this negative word or is it a positive word like Liar was talking about? It doesn't have to be this negative word, yes. And it shouldn't be a negative word. It should actually be a positive word. And that's what I want to talk about. I have had to myself, I have had to redefine over the last couple of years what the word work means to me through a lot of my radical transformation that I have made in my life, downsizing a lot of things, minimalizing, getting to the absolute things that I really need in my life to make me happy and make me grow as a person and really just live a totally fulfilled life. So 
I've had to redefine the word work. I've had to I've had to re-examine it. I've had to kind of you know put it up on a pedestal and look at it and just kind of say you know okay what did it used to be and what is it now you know what is it now for me okay and going back to the negative and positive association that you have to this word work it's going to affect uh, what results that you get in your life I mean it totally totally is just from my own experience and I'm not just gonna ramble and preach in this video I'm actually gonna talk about just my own experience with with this if you know if we're I'm gonna and I'm gonna talk about a little bit of my theory okay and I you know it's just a theory that I have and it's based upon just you know my own experience so if you're having issues with the word work or you're not motivated enough uh, it's maybe the word is demotivating for you. It's negative. It's positive or whatever I think you've really got to reevaluate what your what your goals are like what what are your what are what are your goals? Are they pie in the sky? Are they believable? Are they achievable? I mean do you even believe you do you even believe that you can achieve your goal? Let's just start there. Okay, and if you tell me that You know you're having that you're you're struggling with getting some things accomplished you know I'm gonna probably go out on a limb and probably say that your goals suck yes I said it your goals suck that's one of my theories about uh, why you don't get what you want is because your goals suck <laughs> and you haven't broken them down you haven't gotten to some small believable steps that you feel are believable you feel are achievable and that really excite you and really motivate you okay and that's the key word right there is motivation so yes work does not have to be a negative word you have to find a way for whatever it is that you're doing in your life that you get excited about it and you figure out you've got to get the motivation you've got to figure out what motivates you and this motivation thing is not something from my experience that you just set it and forget it and then everything is great no it does not work that way you have to constantly be motivating yourself and in some cases things that used to motivate you may not motivate you anymore so you have to continue to find new things that motivate you you know whether this is like a health goal you have this is a financial goal uh, or what have you you've got to constantly be motivating yourself so back to work you know what is work work is process when you break work down it's process it's a step by step by step activities that you do on the way along the way to your goal you know whatever it is for you and I know for myself what's really changed what's really helped me with this whole process of work is it's really identifying and establishing a goal that would really change my life okay and like you know for me I have a financial goal that I have in mind that I know would just really would really really change my life like it would really change the trajectory of a lot of things in my life right now okay and but it's very believable it's very achievable and I know that I can do it okay so that was that's my suggestion for you if there's something that you want to change you've got to get a goals that motivate you you have to find motivation um, and you've got to get goals that excite you it's got to excite you you know if if uh, if you're you know if, if if this work that you're doing or engaged in you know it's not exciting or you know maybe you're maybe you're close to accomplishing your goal so maybe you're in that grinding it out phase and, and trust me you're always going to be grinding in my opinion you're going to be grinding it out when it comes to work and that's okay but but then again it's got to be work that 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 you think that it, that is that is exciting and you have a motive you've got a lot of motivation behind it you've got small simple chunkable goals that are broken down. Uh, you, you're not setting these pie in the sky uh, goals. How many of you have been to that seminar? Yeah, I have been. Been to many of them where you just you dream up the biggest thing in the world, the biggest, hairiest, audacious goal. Uh, I'm going to make ten million dollars in the next year, and you know, and on and on and on. Well, why don't we first uh, try to get to making five hundred dollars a month, okay? And then let's kind of go from there, right? Same thing with health. Uh, you know, if it's a health, if it's a health goal, you know, why don't we just try to like uh, get up at five o'clock in the morning, okay, and hit hit the ground and do push-ups like why don't we just start there why don't we just try to achieve that goal first okay so anyways that's my rant on on goals and work and motivation and getting excited what gets me motivated you know music gets me really motivated honestly 
I, I just get fired up by music. Music, it just, it's uh, it's this energy that goes through every fiber in my being and I just get really excited I get, and I get really motivated to do a lot of wild and crazy things. Um, and so that does work for me. So uh, my advice to you is to find what gets you excited and what gets you motivated and set smaller, believable, achievable goals. You can do it. Such a beautiful spot right here. Check out this bench. It's got, got a, has a dedication plaque to it. Just a beautiful spot here, beautiful day, amazing. It's got a really nice varnish on it. So that's how I feel about uh, the W word, work. <laughs> so I hope uh, I hope you were all able to take away something helpful, helpful from that. I know that what I said really has helped me out a lot and some of the distinguishments, some of the things that I've had to, I've had to distinguish and, and redefine in my life. Uh, it's uh, a lot of the, a lot of that has really, really helped me out like tremendously. So, uh, other than that, guys, uh, I'm trying to get more videos out there. I'm trying to upload more content, make uh, make more videos. That's my small believable goal is to just be more consistent, okay? So I'm working on it. If you are new to the channel, there, there's been a lot of people that, that have been new to the channel that, that, that have subscribed. I want to just say thank you for subscribing. Thanks for coming along with my journey here in really just radically redefining, redefining my whole life over again. There's that word again, redefining. So re re redefining a lot of things. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming along. I hope that you find great value in, in my videos. So I think I'm gonna end it here, guys, on this uh, beautiful, lovely day. I hope you uh, are all doing really, really well out there, despite the, the evil, despite the corruption that's going on out there in our world. Um, I hope that uh, I hope that you all remain strong. I hope that you all remain patriotic, and I hope that you do everything you can to help others out and spread peace and love in the world, and continually trying to help other people. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next vlog.